Hello, I am Mrs. Freiberger, a gifted and talented specialist for the San Antonio Independent School District. Welcome back to episode three of the Five Items Ninja Challenge. Over the past two weeks, I have had my coffee and my box taken from me by a very bold ninja. I'm sad I lost my box. I could have used it in so many innovative ways. Remember, to be innovative, you must apply your creative ideas in useful ways. I could use a box to store things like my rock collection, or I could use it to hold books or keepsakes, but those uses are not innovative. The obvious way to use a box is for storage, so I need to think beyond that to be innovative. And I'm outside today to help me to think outside the box. <laughs> I could have used my box as a helmet for the next time the ninjas came to visit. I'd need holes for my eyes though, so I could watch for them. A box could also be used as a laundry basket to carry clothes when I make my kids do their laundry. Heath, get your laundry out of the dryer. I could shred it and use it for bedding, or I could use a small one as a house for a pet like a guinea pig or a hamster. If I cut pieces off of it, I could use it as a paint palette, or I could cut one the size of a postcard and send a note to my grandmother. If I pull it apart and flatten it out, I can put it under mulch or stones to block weeds from growing in flower beds. And you can always use a box on a stake as a sign to advertise a yard sale or to keep neighbors off your grass. I'm working on being, becoming a crotchety old lady. Get off my grass! <laughs> anyway, what was the second item that the mean ninja stole from you? Tell us which of your items the ninja took this time and four unique or creative ways you could have used that item. Post them in your GT classroom. I still have three of my items left. It's starting to look sad, but I have my pool noodle, my blanket, and hey, that is not okay. Did he just take my book? Come on. <laughs> 